I have paid one pound for a lease option. How many lease options have you done? 16. 16? <laughs> yeah, 16. Oh my goodness. You got 18 grand in one month? From the council, yeah, from one property. That's more than 10% of the entire value of the house. Who's staying in Grimsby though? <laughs> we put a 20% deposit down, so we put about 30 grand. You are kidding me. <laughs> the best educational platform that you could go in, if you want to go into property, then hands down, the Academy is the one for you. What's your portfolio worth today? Scott, what was it that made you say yes to coming on Winners on a Wednesday? Just to tell everyone my story, just to inspire and motivate people to, yeah, push other people forward and bring other people up. Property millionaire? Property millionaire, multi-millionaire, yeah. Wow. And started from a council estate? Yeah, I started from Ayers Monsell in Leicester. That's where I grew up, was raised and lived there for the first sort of like 26 years of my life. And mm. uh, love, still love the place now. Most of my family still live there. So. How recent was the success? Like when did the millions start coming in when did when did it all take off since the academy really like i'm 34 now i didn't have a property till i was 30 and i didn't join the academy till i was 30 so it's only been recent sort of last four years mm. that it's grew but i always know i wanted to get into property it's just i didn't know how i'd always had the the notion that you would save up a deposit and buy a house and then I read your book, Buy Low, Rent High, and just completely transformed my thinking. Then I thought, well, actually, you can put little money down and and make a lot of money rent-wise. So I enrolled on the academy, changed my life, changed my, my mindset, and never looked back from that. What's your favorite property investment strategy? Lease options. What is a lease option? <laughs> so a lease option is exactly what it says on the tin. You rent a property from a landlord with the option of buying the property in the future. So essentially... I love BRRs as well, so buy, refurbish, refinance. I see a lease option as like a better version of that because you put in less money in, but you're still getting all the benefits of a BRR. So I just love lease options. Explain to me again, because people watching this that don't know what lease options are might think, what? Come again? <laughs> but it's very normal. It's no different from when you buy a car on a PCP and you'll pay a monthly 200, 300 pound a month. Yeah. And then you'll have access to the car. You don't own it. And then at the end of the term, five years, you have the option to either give the keys back and say, thank you very much, or to pay an outstanding amount and then you own the car. But with property, you can do that too. What's the advantages to buying a property now with the agreement that you can pay for it in, say, seven years' time? Why, why would you do that? The advantage are capital appreciation, basically. So you're agreeing a price, let's say £100,000, now, based on past performances with property, they normally double every 10 years. So in 10 years time, that property theoretically should be worth 200,000, mm. but you're securing it for today's price at 100,000 pounds. If we do that analogy, in, in seven years time, it should be worth 170. Right. So you're benefiting from today's price, but you're getting it at a 170,000 pound house in seven years time for 100,000 pounds now. And you're getting the rent. And you're getting the rent in the meantime. How much do you have to put down now as like a deposit in order to make it legally binding? One pound. One pound? <laughs> yeah. Have you paid one pound for a lease option? I have paid one pound for a lease option, yeah. How many lease options have you done? 16. 16? <laughs> yeah, 16. Oh my goodness. And how much on average do you normally put down as an option fee? For the past few, we've put down £3,000 as an option fee. That's what I normally put down. Yeah. I've found that the other side solicitors pushes for yeah. more than a pound. Yeah, exactly. Although I recently bought a hotel on an option and I paid a pound. Wow, <laughs> that's and crazy. got a hotel for a pound. That's mad. So 16 lease options. How are you getting these deals? Where are you finding them? A majority of those have came through one landlord. And it's what I always say to everyone, even like with the mentoring now, is that you're only sort of one connection away from getting a load of lease options, a below market value deal, or an investor with a lot of money. You're only that one connection or one deal away from financial freedom from a completely different life. So this landlord was was just a tired landlord, just one out of the game because obviously the tax is going up for property in your own name, which they've got all the properties in their own name. They're just about breaking even because the interest rates have gone up now as well. They're basically breaking even and it's causing them a lot of stress. So we've just came in and say, we'll pay you the rental payment every month. Take the stress off your hands with an agreed purchase price down the line that's an ideal situation for that landlord a lot of people would think it's a, a one-sided i get all the benefit but this these properties are causing a massive stress for and you're landlord. paying them the rent exactly and yeah. they've got no stresses anymore because yeah. you're paying them the rent and they haven't got a deal with tenants exactly but then how are you making money on the rent if you're paying rent to them 
Mm-hmm. How are you then profiting each month? Obviously, what we do, what, what you teach on part of the academy is super rent strategies, which are HMOs, which are SAs, which is social housing. So what I do is, is just flip them onto them. Let's say a house is £500 a month rent. I'll do it room by room and get £500 a room. Yeah. Or I'll do it on service accommodation and get £100 a night. And it only needs to be occupied 20 nights of the month and I'll make two grand off that property rather than the 500. And then obviously I'll pay the 500 to the landlord. I make the profit. They're happy because they get the guaranteed rent. They have no voids, no management, no maintenance. And I get the benefit of making profit on the property. It's genius. It just makes sense. Tell me about that house that you bought in Cleethorpes for 152 grand. The B&B in Cleethorpes, that was probably, well, definitely our best purchase. It's incredible. And I personally <laughs> have seen this, been out, I met the folks that, that have been staying there. Talk to me about it. It's, it's an incredible deal. So it was a an eight bed B&B. We brought it yeah, for 152,000 with the intention of doing it as a HMO. So we was going to do it as an eight bed HMO, get it on a commercial valuation. It would have been worth about 400 grand anyway. So it was an all money BRR to HMO deal. And we purchased the property. The lady who we purchased it from used to do a bit with social housing, so emergency accommodation. And she said, oh, do you want the contact for the council? I don't know if that would be of interest to you. So I was like, okay. Spoke to them. They came out, had a look, and they offered us um, that they'd be willing to take it on again. And we knew the old room rates of what the old owner used to charge and just added £5 on top. So we get like between £50 and £140 a night per room. It makes us on average £12,000 turnover per month. Our record month on that is £18,000. So it's it's a great deal. You got eighteen grand. In one month? In one month, yeah. From rent from the council? From the council, yeah, from one property. That you bought for 152 grand? Yeah. That's more than 10% of the entire value of the house. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's How much did you have to put down as a deposit to buy the house? We put a 20% deposit down, so we put about 30 grand into it. Gee. <laughs> so you bought that house, you put down 30 grand, and yeah. in some months you make 18 grand profit. Yeah. No, sorry, 18 turn. Yeah, yeah What are the expenses on the house? How much are you paying on the mortgage and everything? Mortgage is £416 a month. Uh, bills are about five, 600 a month. That's the thing. When people say, oh, property's really hard, or oh, the academy's really risky, it's like, yeah, that one deal, that's financial freedom on one deal. Yeah, exactly. How, how long have you had that now, that property? About 18 months. So it's, it's ready to refinance in September. What's it worth now? We say bricks and mortar 250. Obviously, we're going to push more, but I think it's probably worth more. That's being conservative. I always try and be conservative with my figures. So, so you've probably made about 100 grand on the capital appreciation. Yeah. But, well, the day we brought it, we got it valued again, and it was worth 250 that day. And that was 18 months ago. So it's probably, you know, 300 grand now, but I'm just conservative 250. So you bought it for 152 and then you got it valued the same day you bought it and it was worth 250. How did you get it so cheap? At that moment in time we brought it, there was a big boom after the after COVID. So we agreed the purchase price and it took about a year to go through, through probate and I everything. About this. And then by the time we got to buying it, the, it boosted the value. So. Mate, that's the joy of property taking forever. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, property takes forever. It can. Buying properties takes a long time. And there are aspects to property. Planning permission takes a long time, but that's part of the beauty of it because while you're waiting, it's going up. If yeah. I weren't you with your HMO and Cleethorpes, weren't you, you're planning on doing it as an 8-bed HMO, but you needed to get planning. Yeah. And whilst planning was taking forever, <laughs> yeah. you contacted the council yeah, and now exactly. you're getting 12 grand minimum a month from it. Yeah. Again, the joy of property taking forever. Yeah, Exactly. Because if, if you'd got planning real fast, you'd be running as HMO and making a couple grand a month, but instead you're making 12 grand a month yeah. because it took forever. Yeah. Damn. What else do you do in property? Every strategy there is, uh, I do. So mainly it's social housing, but we've got HMOs, got SAs, BRRs, lease options. Didn't everything. you buy the cheapest advertised house in the country? That was Damien. That was- Your Mrs. business partner. Yeah, yeah. But oh. I, obviously a few years ago, I brought a house for 29,500, which- Was that your first BRR? I remember that in Grimsby. One. Yeah, yeah. So. That was just as you joined the academy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Tell me about that one. So that, that was on the market for 50,000 pounds. Negotiated it down to 35 and a half. This was through COVID as well. And then we got a damp survey. And I remember a, a mentor at the time, Rex, was like, speak to this surveyor, see what they said. And I managed to get another six grand off it. So- 
just joining the academy and having access to the mentors saved me six grand just on that purchase. Yeah, so that was brought for 29,500. The end value on that was 85 grand. The challenge we've just done recently, or just done on social media where we had to get a house ready in like four days and we got 10 grand rent for a 12 week stay as an SA, that was that property. So I'm getting 840 pound a week for the next 12 weeks on that property. You are kidding me. <laughs> no. You bought it for 29 grand? Yeah. How much was the refurb? About the same, about 29.30. So in total, about 59 grand. Yeah. Did you pay stamp duty? No. Of course not, because it's less than four grand. Yeah. You got it revoked at 85, refinanced it, pulled out your money, and now you're renting it for 800 pound a week. Yeah. How are you getting 800 pound a week? for a 29 grand house. Who's staying in Grimsby though? <laughs> Who's going to Grimsby and saying, I, I want to pay 800 pound a week to stay in a 29 grand house? Massive demand there for contractors. So there's one of the biggest offshore wind farms in the country just off the coast there. So there's always contractors. It's got a free port. There's a lot of development in Cleeforks, which is right next to Grimsby. So it is a popping area. So it's like workers. Workers, yeah, contractors. How many people can fit in the house? Four, four separate bedrooms. So so really? we charge £30 a night per room, which is £120 a night. I've got to see this house, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've got to come and see this house. That is mad. It's crazy. When did you realise that property was going to make you rich? When were you like, oh my gosh, I'm actually going to get rich? I think the B&B was the one. I think as soon as the money started coming in from that, it was like... A couple of years ago. Yeah, shit, this is life-changing now. This is like... Most people work their ass off all month for that. And I'm just like sat back here and the money's coming in. Yeah. If I just replicate that and keep, do a few more of them. What's your portfolio worth today? 2.3 million. Nice. And then you've got all the other stuff that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 got a few properties going through at the moment. Got another B&B going through. Got another lease option going through. Got another three bed property going through. So there's, it's always, we're always adding fuel to the fire, always adding more properties all the time. Are they all in the Grimsby sort of area, Cleethorpes? Yeah, I've got a, a block of four flats in Hartlepool. We've got a couple of lease options in Scunthorpe and then the rest is all Grimsby mm. and Cleethorpes, yeah. How does one determine their patch and their gold mine area? You found your little gold mine area and you've got your thing going. Mm -hmm. Should everybody go to Grimsby? No, I, I don't think so. I, again, it's completely up to them, but I think that it's got to be relatively close to you. So so I can get to Grimsby in just under two hours. Where do you live? Leicester. Yeah. There are cheaper places nearer, but I found the first house there. I've got my contacts there. I've got, I've got you know, agents, builders. I've got a power team there now. So a lot of it is to do with who you meet and, and your team you build up while you're there. Sure. But... I know the area so well there now because I did the first BRR there and I pretty much lived there for four months doing work on it myself. I got to know the area really well. I got to know contacts there. So yeah, built up a, a really good team. So how does one find their area? As close as possible to you as you can. Now, yeah. If that's within an hour, great. You need to do your research on it. So you need to research to make sure that, you know, there's demand there. So everything's supply and demand. So you don't want to buy a house in an area and no one wants to live there or there's no demand for SAs or HMOs. It's specific to each and every person. So as near as possible to you and then mm -hmm. what your strategy is, does it work there? You know, if there's Article 4 there, can you do HMOs? It, yeah. Basically, like there's no magic area. There's no you magic area. You need to figure area. out your strategy, your yeah. goals. Yeah. And an area that you know that's relatively close to your home and it's very, very bespoke to you. Exactly. And that's part of what we do in the academy, right? We, we, we help people figure out their area, their strategy, get their business plan. What was your experience of the academy? Like, why did you enroll? Completely life-changing. Obviously, before the academy, like I said, no property, no experience. And now in a short space of time, I've built up a multi-million pound portfolio. Just everything. It gives you your mindset. The, the academy is is a program which will completely transform the way you think about property, the way you think about yourself. It's it's a personal development program as much as it is a property education program. The environment is insane. There's so many people doing so many deals that I say to my missus now, like these people join the academy, it's so hard to fail now. Like there's so many tools that it, you've got to succeed. You know, you've got mentors whenever you want. You've got online training whenever you want. You've got a team around you, which most people are killing it in property. There's always someone to help you and, and somewhere to, to go to if you need help. So yeah. it's just an incredible society that you've built 
and hats off to you for that because it, it's insane now. It's it's unbelievable. It's got when I joined four years ago, it's it's even better than when I first joined. There's so yeah. much there now. That, and the uh, the investments the same. Yeah, it's cr it's crazy. It, it is literally the best educational platform that you could go in if you want to go into property. Then hands down, the academy is the one for you. Well, I appreciate you saying that, and I appreciate you being part of it and now and giving back, yeah. and spending a lot of time mentoring and helping other people within the academy, and that's what it is. As well as it's not just me teaching; it's the community, all the mentors, the whole environment, the whole community. And I appreciate what you bring as well to the table now. Thank after you. you've been successful, you know, giving back and helping others. What will be then your final words of advice to someone wanting to get into property? Maybe they're from a council estate. Maybe they haven't got loads of money, loads going on, and they want to emulate what you've done. Yeah. What do you do? You've got to go all in. There's no, there's no point dipping your toe in the water. Oh, I might do this and it might work. You've got to go all in. No one ever succeeded at anything unless they went head on into it, full out, all in. And that's what I did. You know, I've immersed myself in it. I, it's a gamble. That's the way I see it. You're gambling on yourself. And if you're confident enough, and, and like I say, you, you put the money in, the, the team, you've got everything around you, all the tools around you on the academy to, to succeed. So number one, just go to a crash course. I mean, that will completely transform how you think about property anyway. I mean, like, like I've said before, the traditional way everyone thinks is save a deposit, buy a house, save another deposit, buy a house. The crash course will revolutionize your thinking and then if you go on some more advanced courses again th that is going to blow your mind even more and you're going to learn some massive massive tips and strategies that are going to i don't look back now I've, I've got the magic formula like brr's lease options that's the magic formula to, yeah. to be a millionaire like what else do i need that's it done well you've done so well and it's been such a pleasure being part of your journey and i appreciate what you've done and what you bring back so Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And uh, if you guys want to come and meet myself and maybe meet Scott, because you come to a lot of the programs, then come on down. Spend a day with me in person at the Property Investors Crash Course. Tickets are one pound, very limited spaces. So stop messing around and get your place registered now. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.